My name is Miss Molly, and if you're anything like me, your schedule has been shook up a little bit. So today I'm going to walk you through a really easy printmaking project. So for this project, you'll need very minimal supplies. You'll need paint, a brush, a flat surface, paper, and some textures. So textures can mean a lot of different things. Um, this is a really fun part of the project because you can either go outside and go on a walk and try to pick up some textures. Um, so I picked up a leaf. You can see it has a nice little texture to it. Or you can pick up some twigs. I chose this one because it has a really fun pattern. And you can also choose some different kinds of seeds or things. If you can't go outside, no problem at all. You go on a scavenger hunt and you find some things that you can use as a texture. So for this, I'm using a toilet paper roll. Um, this jar has an interesting, some grooves at the bottom of it that I think will be good. A seashell from the beach a while ago and some Q-tips. Q-tips are great for everything. You can use them as a paintbrush if you need to. You can use them to make some dots. You can do a lot of things with Q-tips. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is squeeze some paint onto a flat surface. So that can be a disposable plate. Um, it can also be a reusable plate as long as you can wash it off afterwards. Um, it can really be anything. So I already have plenty of paint. I chose blue because it makes me really happy. The next step, you'll pick a texture, I'm going to use this leaf, and you want to add a light coat of paint to it. So you don't want it to be too thick, but you want it to be enough so that whenever you press it down, it leaves a mark. So here is mine. You can see it's pretty light, pretty light coat. So, you put it down on a piece of paper, and then you add a lot of pressure to it. I use my thumb, but you want to make sure that every piece of that leaf touches and leaves the paint on the paper. I'm using construction paper, but you can use printer paper, you can use old newspaper, you can use anything. So, there is that print. And the next thing I'm going to do is use this twig because it leaves a really fun pattern. So you press, I'm just rolling the twig because it's round and that makes a lot of sense and is an easy way to get that texture off, adding a little bit more. And there is that texture. Okay, next I'm going to use toilet paper roll. So for this you kind of just want to dip it in the paint, make sure that it's all got some paint on it, and then whoop, press down. Do, do, do. do the best job of getting paint on every part of it, but that's okay. Next I'm going to use a Q-tip. Q-tips, as I mentioned, are great for everything. And just press it down. There you go. Now you can do this with as many different types of textures as you want. Let me see if I can get it better. There we go. Um, you and your family can go on a nature walk and find some different things. You can make all kinds of projects with this. Um, but I hope y'all enjoy this. I'll be back with more projects later.